Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video. Uh, I'd like to begin by wishing Rafa Shalema to Gloria Jackson, who's uh, gone back into hospital. Uh, I saw her today, she was in good spirits, and uh, we hope she'll be home soon. So this week's Sadra is Toldois. We're moving through the stories of the patriarchs, the stories of our forefathers, Started. We started with Abraham, and we spent about three sedras discussing his life. And now we really have one short sedra of Taldais talks about the life of Yitzchak, of Isaac. And by next week, um, by eight, by eight, say, we're already up to the story of Jacob. So there's very little told us to us about Isaac. But the one thing we do know is that him and Rivka, Rebecca, spent 20 years praying for children. He married her very young, we're told she was only three, which obviously was a bit um, a bit different to how we uh, view things nowadays. Commentaries explain that she sort of came into the household, wasn't yet really sort of the wife in the sense that we understand it for a number of years till she was older. But either way, they were childless and... Uh, Prayed for children, and the pasuk uses an interesting term. It says that they prayed, Yisroch prayed lenoichach ishtoi, which simply translates as opposite his wife. So Rashi says it means that she went in one corner and she prayed, and he went into another corner and, and he prayed, and together they invoked the mercy of heaven. And uh, eventually they had children, twins, Yaakov and Esau, Jacob and Esau. And uh, we know Jacob became the next forefather. He was a great, holy, righteous person. And Esau, he was um, a hunter. He had he was an idolater, and he was generally uh, not a very good person. But one of the commentaries explains Lenochach Ishta doesn't necessarily mean opposite his wife in a physical, ge geographical sense. That one was in one place, and one was in the other. He says the noichach opposite can also be used to mean towards. He prayed towards his wife. What does that mean? He, so they explain that Yitzchak knew that he was going to at some point have children in his life because his father Abraham had been promised that he was going to have a great future through Yitzchak, through Isaac. The the, the, the pasuk said to him, "I'm going to give you children. It's going to be olazarecha acharecha for your children who come after you." He knew there were going to be generations. But his prayer was, I want it to be, I want those children to come from this special woman, this special woman I'm married to called Rivka. Because like his father, we know he could have eventually taken a concubine in those days, uh, an additional wife in those times. He wasn't doubtful that at some point he would have the children. He wanted his children. He recognized the immense qualities and he had such a love and respect for his wife that he wanted, he prayed to Hashem, I want her to be the mother of my children. I want her to be my partner in building the Jewish people so she can be one of the matriarchs of the of the Jewish people. And we can take a lesson from that in the way that people who love each other, especially husbands and wives, have to have to uh, think of each other. He, had, he, he, he was his wife's number one fan. He wanted, he wanted it to be with her. A husband has to always have that uh, and a wife also has to have the sense of of really rooting and 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 and, and wanting the best for each other, um, not just sort of going through a a marriage in a sort of a transactional state where I do for you and you do for me. It's sort of a a give and take, but it should, it should be a give and give. You're giving each other support and love and 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 all these, um, and 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 you just want to to have the best for each other. And that's a very powerful closeness. In a, in a similar way, they tell a story of a great rabbi who was known as a tzaddik of Yerushalayim, Rabbi Ari Levine. He once went to the doctor and he said, my wife's foot is hurting us. Not hurting her. He felt the pain because they're, they're so connected and, and, and that, that's the message. We see that uh, Isaac and Rebecca, he, he had this real will and, 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 and desire to bring out the best not just for himself. He would have been okay. He was going to have children somehow anyway. He wanted it to be, he wanted the best for her as well. And that's something we can take a lesson from, to always want the best for each other. Wishing you all Shabbat Shalom. Good travels.